Featured in front of us today here at Classic Cars of Palm Beach in Jupiter, Florida is this 2005 Chevrolet SSR. Possibly one of the most funky vehicles GM produced from the 2000s. This one is a really nice example here that we have in front of us. Just over 56,000 miles on the odometer. So definitely not super high miles on this one. We'll give a quick walk around the exterior and then we'll give a more in-depth tour pointing out some points of attention for the exterior as well as making our way inside this SSR. So after a quick walk around, we'll uh, get started up front here. We do have some slight, I guess you can call it, uh, finish peeling and some problems there along the front Chevrolet badge and or grill piece. But other than that, I mean, we got a little bit of tinting there with the headlights. The paint, however, is still in quite nice condition. There's a couple very small blemishes. There's one there, one here. Again, some of these might be able to be cleaned off possibly with a good scrubbing, uh, but we did just wash this thing, so something to note. Down below here, really no significant damage. I don't see any major scrapes underneath the front there. Having a look here at the windshield, I don't see any significant chips or damage there in the windshield. The roof is still in very good condition. It of course is a convertible pickup truck. You could describe it as such. So the power roof does operate seamlessly. Had to operate it three times while taking pictures and it did its job every time. Wheels look fantastic. Possibly a bit of scratching on that one. Looks like maybe it was refinished at some point. Some sideboard, running board there. We do have a blue pinstripe running down the side of the vehicle. I want to point out there is a slight, it's very difficult to see, right here there is a slight dent in the fender. And you can see it from that angle the best right there, I think. Got some, of course, a little few rock chips down here along the front of the fender as well. That's to be expected considering that is a point of impact for rocks as they travel along the side of the truck. Looking around back, we do have a scratch here just below and to the left of the Chevy bow tie couple of minor scratches here right along what will be the load floor for bed of the SSR. Looks like we might have another scratch down here. Yeah, we got a little chip there. Another scratch over here, but overall pretty minor. Looking up here, a couple other small blemishes along that edge. The body color bed cover looks really nice. We do have some scratches up front here. A couple there, a couple there. Apologies for the wind. It's a bit windy out here today. Looking along the passenger side now. Not seeing anything significant over here. We probably have the same rock chipping, yeah, a little bit along the inside of the fender, less than the driver's side in my opinion. Front passenger fender looks good. Again, a little bit of tinting on the headlights, not too much going on though. Let's have a look inside real quick. You have a little bit of texturing and wear on the inside of the driver's door panel. But other than that, interior presents quite nicely. You have this interesting reddish orange stitching, of course, with the SSR embroidery on the seats. A little bit of creasing on the driver's seat bolster here maybe some texture cracking but no significant tears or actual separations in the finish just more of a crinkle than anything steering wheel looks largely good not seeing any significant scratching maybe a little bit of that you know just a sheen that you get from touching the leather and the plastic frequently look at your gauge cluster center control stack you have a little bit of uh, discoloration on the center of the dials. You can't quite see it from this angle. When the sun hits it, you can see the finish and you can see there's a little bit of cosmetic issues with the finish here. But they're all still functional. AC, at least when I was uh, taking pictures of this thing, it uh, still blows cold. We have your auxiliary gauges down there. Gear lever shows little to no wear whatsoever. Same thing with the switch gear down here. Center console, no creasing, no tearing on the armrest. You see that texturing issue is not present on the passenger door panel. 
Dashboard looks great, all the plastic. Headliner looks equally as nice. Again, just over 56,000 miles on the odometer for this one. Actually, I just realized I need to pop open the tailgate here. Get the keys real quick. Hit the button on here. That opens up the bed cover. Way back around here. And then we can lower this by reaching inside, dropping it down. Nicely finished tail bed here. We have your cross member going across there. Of course, it looks really clean back here. We have the SSR uh, specialty floor mats. Don't think those are OEM, but uh, very presentable. Close this up, lower that first, and then you bring the back end up there. So there we have it, 05 Chevy SSR, located here at Classic Cars of Palm Beach in Jupiter, Florida, right along US 1.